the founder of Islamic Relief, the president of Humanitarian Forum, our brother Dr. Hani Albana, who has come all the way from UK to be with us for this day, so that interacting with you and uh, and uh, you know share with you his vision, our vision together. And so I want us all to have uh, an applause for him as we acknowledge his presence in our meetings and uh, then I think we will move on with the program. Yes, Ali. Thank you very much. So, um, of course, we'll hear from him later on, uh, but I wanted just uh, to have his recognition, his presence uh, being, uh, you know, that, um, so I think with that, uh, I want to welcome uh, our Director General for Environment and Climate Ahmed, to, have, to give us uh, opening remarks about this uh, session that we are having today. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, uh, Assalamu alaikum to uh, all of you. I have uh, some uh, few words to say. Some few words, then uh, I will leave you guys all of all to discuss and continue to the other assemblies. But before I do that, I think he, let me say Somali, then the English for some few minutes. On first night in a musical house of the top, one I guess my food, I guess, I guess, I guess, I
ملون وواحد ثاني سنة بلعة سنة خسرة سنة كان هذا توتن يجي وعروق تيزبي سنة كوريا وعروق تيقايرا سنة كان هذا سوري توتن توتن وعروق ماريا يوكي سنة خسرة واحد خسرة كان لايو مور من 15000 بيبر Jadi kalau ibarat kalau macam itu jenis jenis atau yang kita nak semua, tuh demi hati kita yang ada pada ayat itu, waktu kami itu waktu sebab yang perlu kita sedari, waktu sebab mereka dia, mereka ini atas dan beri kita semua yang ada dalam celebration. They come back to say to what I say now just for few words in English. Doctor Hana. He's one of the founders, as my brother already mentioned in, in Islamic field. Probably, as you know, that he yeah, has an office in Somalia, I think, all the country. I know in the case of Andorre, and a lot of the British I've seen, and the other areas of the country. Uh, he's, he's also a humanitarian forum. So he, he travels all the all, all the world in order to see how the climate change is and what is to actually give them awareness to people. So Dr. Karim Jinja, it's a big aggressive in our world in risk and danger to all of us. The case of Somalia is particularly unique as a climate change has not only increased the infestating losses and flash floods, but also has a direct bearing on the prevailing insecurity and uh, massive inspiration issues, the increase of poverty situation. Why we are saying this? Because we know that when there is climate change taking place in an area, people, they will get uh, shorter for example, in terms of water, comfort to just the rice, and sometimes they kill the and whatever. So we cannot say it's just for growth only, but it's bigger than that. And, and for example, as media, I can say that this is a, the second problem of Somalia. The first one is security, the second one is the environment and climate change. What we are saying is because we know that how the country was very beautiful and good back to the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and 80s. I was not there, but uh, as I read and I know. Uh, Somalia is among the hardest hit of the negative impact of the climate change. Being already a fragile state and among the least growing countries, the country has a current growth crisis and tropical circles that has initiated the latest and economic of Somali people. You know that what happened in 2005, 2004, 2010, something like that, there is a lot of disasters that takes place due to the climate change. Also, uh, United Nations uh, Security Council has formally recognized that the climate change has a stabilizing factor in Somalia. Why I'm saying this is because there was a meeting in the United Nations uh, 2018 March, they said that uh, the council noted that the adverse effect of climate change, ecological changes, and natural disasters, among the other factors, including growth, desertification, land degradation, and food security, are the significant threat to the peace, security, and well being of Somalia as a nation. This is what the uh, United Nations meeting 2018 March said. And uh, those are the areas. As Somali government should continue to accelerate actions, build resilience against the negative impact of climate change, and develop an ambitious national climate contributions, along the line with the excellent for a different of climate resilience and low carbon development. Our action plan has been incorporated in our national development policies and plans. It's a critical component for uh, also this climate change to attainment of the sustainable development goals. Uh, since now we have been uh, drafted the uh, climate change policy, where we are going to soon give you some smart uh, presentation on it. We have also drafted NDC. In this year 2020, we are going to review. We have just hired a, a consultant or expert, Somalia national expert, and we are going to review and we wish to submit 2020 October, the coming UNFCC meeting in Europe. Also, there is a NAP national uh, adaptation plan where the GCF uh, gives us some support and we wish also maybe with the mid of this 2020 or something like that to start some work on areas in that area. So 
uh, those are my few remarks, and uh, I wish the meeting to be ending with the tangible goals and resources. That's a speech. And for also, you know, taking uh, our time to open our, our, our conference, our workshop. Um, I think having set the ground for us now by the government representative, uh, I want to take this opportunity to invite our brother, Hani Albana, Dr. Hani Albana, who will be able to give us an uh, inspiring speech and uh, a vision we are thinking to have together in overcoming uh, the impact of climate change and setting the resilience agenda. Climate change is an individual responsibility before it becomes government responsibility. It's individual behavior before it becomes government regulation. If the individual, as myself, as a citizen, do not believe how can we protect the climate, we will destroy the climate. But we will not so we'll see no value about the climate. Brother was talking about the 60s and 70s. I was born 20 years ago, That's right? <laughs> I saw the beautiful uh, 60s and 70s. I have not been to Somalia, but at least in Egypt, when you see the different birds, the different uh, climate weathers, in certain months, we know definitely it's going to happen. The farmer knew definitely that he has to plant his seed, put the seeds at certain times, at uh, certain uh, uh, part of the year. Now, in Sudan, here, 19 November, and they want each and every one of you will have the right to attend, actually, so we can share. But as long as we are alive, we will see we will continue seeing the, the impact. So um, that is uh, basically uh, in between. We'll have uh, our doctor to give us, you know, motivation, uh, kind of, you know, in reference to whatever we discuss. Um, so I think we have. Um, So we have set uh, objectives. I, everyone has a thing, uh, the agenda plus the QR. On the on the, the the agenda sheet, you see as I say, understanding the climate change, 
what are the impacts of uh, the climate change in form of disasters. Uh, then we share experiences. Of course, we represent various, uh, you know, diverse groups uh, from NGOs to government to, to you know, to various ministries. Um, explore policy related. Uh, we have invited uh, uh, the ministry uh, uh, of humanitarian and environment so that we also uh, look at, you know, what are the key policies they have and what are the key policy gaps that are there so that you know, together we will see. Um, explore funding, funding opportunities, financing. So together with the World Humanitarian Action and and uh, the humanitarian forum, slash government and the government and, and, and you guys, whether we look at this is the challenge we have, this is what we wanted to do, this is the finances we require, how do we lobby together, you know, the UN, the government, the Middle East, the, the UK or British or uh, the European government, US. So basically, this is uh, to set up the momentum for that. And then, uh, map action plan for common thinking and framework on the way forward. So by the end of today, inshallah, if all goes well, we wanted to have some tangible results that we'll keep on referring to, we'll keep on visiting until maybe we reach uh, where we wanted to go, or at least closer to where we wanted to go. So uh, those, are the, those are the key objectives. Um, now as a beginning, we say we wanted to do a quick baseline of uh, what uh, our understanding of the climate change, because we are all from different, or what are the levels of, you know, uh, understanding that we have, and then that we will, will form, you know, as more of a, uh, a collective data or finding on the status of where we are as far as the climate change uh, uh, in Somalia is concerned. So the effect of climate change in Somalia is concerned. So we have uh, Peter, our ID has been collecting, uh, he has been adding on, uh, I hope everyone has WhatsApp. Yes, yeah, so he has been adding uh, your numbers into his uh, number so that he can be able to send you the link and then you can be able to do the, the, the survey. Then we'll do presentation of the survey, uh, share the key findings with you and um, So, um, so please share your number with Peter for those who are not, so that uh, you can you can add it, and then we can do a quick. Uh, So then we can be able to do the survey quickly in five minutes there about and then we will go. Okay, for the Wi-Fi, please use uh, Gobwing. Gobwing is much more, uh, the network is a bit slow, but the others uh, seem to be having issue with the password. So Gobwing is Suheiba at 2021. So we'll give you, uh, in between our sessions, we have, we have uh, collected some videos, you know, to ignite our memories as far as this climate change is uh, Some of the global uh, discussions, some of the, you know, uh, feedback on the set.
So please, as we run video, make sure you take notes. We take and uh, bring it back home. So how, for example, if they are saying, you know, the temperature is increasing, are we feeling the same here? Or maybe Somalia is okay? But we wanted you to take note of it and then we have a follow-up discussion on our mutual project. Okay, so So we need, we need to be part of that movement. And that's why we said we need to be all together here so that together we can be able to help the world and the somebody. Um, so I think we can also hear quickly for a few minutes each one because we wanted to capture a small bit of it. There's a few that came before. And then there was COP25, which our friend here I was visited. There, yeah. Was there, mm. and uh, so we just want to get 30 <coughs> seconds of what this lady is telling us, and then of course the next is COP20. Which is this year, 
And as you have seen, there was no much agreement between the nations who have attended that conference. But the reason why they have not agreed is with countries like Somalia or Kenya or Ethiopia have not done their research, have not done their work well to go and present to this uh, government what the impact of climate change is in their country. Maybe they have, like our director general went. No, I mean myself also I have. You went, okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, the director maybe I was too for that. So basically, as, as, as we have had, they didn't agree. Paris Agreement, you knew uh, America pulled out, and they are the major contributor. So we have uh, challenges here and there, but uh, the people who suffer is us, and some people, you know, some villagers in Belegwe who every year receive the, the, the flooding uh, from the Bashabene. So, but we need to, you know, create a moment, as I said, and you know, be part of this movement by presenting facts. This is what we are suffering from. This is what our community are suffering from. And well, we may not have that impact as company or as Africa for that matter. But again, we want them to when they pass through our diets, they see, okay, this is the death of Somalia. People are suffering like this. There is this important. So we wanted that is basically why we say let's to, today gather here, discuss, agree, and see how we can be able to go or send delegates to 20 or 26, 26 and see if again the world, you know, the, the, the big person always have the power to say, to dismiss and these things happen. But we want to play our part. That is, I think, uh, the message we wanted to get. Yes. So any reaction? I said everyone put the link. Yeah. The link on the WhatsApp. Let 
That's why you know it's very important. How the people or participated understanding the advantage of this change. You must be slowly to tell it step by step. You do the honor. Even the mind concept they are the teacher forms. Okay, the correct um Around 20 something years before I made research. And the uh, local government, when it was broken out, I was working in the civil aviation department in location. From that to this time, when I go somewhere, Asia and some African countries, I need to research environment change, climate change, and so on. Do we cite the things? And to have come physically, you understand? I'm so then I have a thing that the history of Somalia, or the environmental or climatological, or even also so erotical, I have a lot of consultants, which is easy to tell with you within one hour. I don't need to look for someone's website or something like that. My group is also. You understand me? Yes. Otherwise, so let it, yeah. let it be behind by the knowledge who has. That's 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 point. Otherwise, so. Again, I don't like to be take more of it. I had one idea. It means uh, this mind change. It means a party of in the metrology. The particular metrology question. How can we make metrology? Metrology was Sada Shahul. We have a lot of time. Sada Shahul we have a lot. We have a lot of erotical metrology. In the Sada Shahul, the erotical metrology was about science, the operation of the aircraft. We have a lot of time. And I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you agriculture. Because of the whole thing, I'm going to set a party of the drones, there are several sections. Agriculture, you know, that's very important session for Russia. The first thing is under the ground, must be researched with the acrometrology is going by. Acrometrology, well, basically, what I'm saying is the question, you see, acrometrology is going to be a couple of soil scientists somewhere like that. Situation of the sun under the ground. Jadi kalau lebih lebih nak pakai khas, terus berusaha memahami agriculture. Ya. Kalau masih tahu, mereka tak boleh sampai di mana. Baik ni ya. Pakar pakar pola. Please. Pakar pakar. Sebab itu dia. Pakar pakar. 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 Pakar before the climate change, must be precipitated on the sun by climate variability. Observation after that becomes why climate variability. You know? Check for it. That's why it's all about that. Thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you for your, your insights. But hopefully, some of the questions you have will be able to answer. But as I say, we want you to think what, the, what is out there in global. Because whatever we discuss here, they discuss in Paris Agreement, which is global. They discuss in COP25, global. But here we wanted us, because as you say, what is actually the local population. So together with you, yes. So uh, we have set up some outcome that we wanted to achieve on in this today workshop. Um, the first one is, what are the key messages? Like the information is sharing with us. So what are the key messages is, that is coming from this? What uh, inform us, the government, to have a complete report that says this is the workshop and what we gathered. Um, 
Then, once we get this information, how are we going to contribute to a higher level? Higher level, which is now this, this COPS and, you know, the one I think there's also another one for Africa taking place in Uganda, in April. So, you know, the various civil society, and how do we have a one cohesive message? One message that if we give out to say to European Union, they will listen to us. Um, then report from this workshop, this means we are having similar workshop in Ethiopia and in other places. So reports of this workshop we will combine and then we'll be able to share as a regional related you know report that it's not only is what came out of Somalia, what came out of Kenya, what came out of Ethiopia, and this is the synthesis of the same report, this is the similarities, these are the differences, this is the level Somalia is, this is the level Kenya is, the level, you know, in terms of, in terms of that. And then, uh, hopefully we'll be able to share a way and again, a way forward as a region that we'll be able to say donors and, and, uh, and other groups. Of course, as we have just been sharing, we, we um, just to understand what are the climate we share with you, and then we'll be able to we'll be able to see, and then we we'll move on. So that is, you know, we don't want to go further away from the local. At the same time, we wanted to be the link. So UN uh, objectives is one of the reasons we now face a global climate, not only change, emergence. You know the, the, the conflict between Egypt and Ethiopia about the Rena Renaissance Dam building. This Renaissance Dam building goes back well, since the 50s. But many governments in Egypt were trying to stop it. Now it's happening and it's going to be a, make a major impact on Egypt as a, uh, as a nation. Okay. Number three, from a policy perspective, COP26 will, will be important for the forum. So that's why I'm encouraging you, if you have the resources, register and send your representative there to lobby for your country. You must be lobbying for your country. In 2016, the World Humanitarian Summit, you know what we've done as Humanitarian Forum? We were lobbying all the organization, but actually trying to, call, to, to try to make a workshop and to invite all the local stakeholders to attend the World Empire Summit. We succeeded. Okay. Now we're trying to ask you to engage. We cannot change the policy while we are stating in Mogadishu. Policy has to be changed when we support our government, so the government go and lobby. And actually, the, the, meet, the international meeting, and you go and lobby as well. Save some money to get the ticket and the expenses for travel to be there and keep lobbying. Going back to, uh, from a policy perspective, COP26 uh, will be important at least for, for, for reasons. It will take place in the year when all countries are asked to submit the new long-term goals so uh, uh, to address the global climate emergency will be 
high on the agenda. So every country will try to put their uh, agenda there. Number two, it will have to finish the work of COP25. And even more expert than myself, actually, uh, COP25 Paris Agreement, no, no, not this one. COP25 was unable uh, to conclude setting out the rules of for carbon market between countries. Number three, from Glasgow onwards, the implementation of the 2015 Paris Agreement will be the key drive, driver of international climate action. Number four, COP26 will come just weeks after the US presidential election with the potential implication this will have for US climate change. Because US is pulled out from Paris declaration, is that right? Yeah, yeah, right. I think they have to that hope if there's any change of policy in America, so the US will come back to the climate change group. Anyway, I need to conclude by saying I congratulate you for coming. It's a very difficult time, not only for Somalia, it's a very difficult time for the whole world. Our role is to stop climate change because it creates conflict, it creates migration, it creates desertification. The worst in Sub Saharan Africa, what's happening there, and what all these sort of things are happening. I thank you very much for coming today to with Islamic League, with the Somali government, with the humanitarian forum, with the World Humanitarian Action Forum, to contribute your and put your role in anti climate change. Inshallah. All right, thank you, Dr. Hani, uh, for reminding us that uh, uh, climate change and mitigation are working towards reducing is our responsibility, individually and then collectively. I think that's a good, uh, powerful statement that uh, we can be able to, to, to pick from the speech by Dr. Hai. Um, so I think now we will get into the program. Um, so basically we, we have three topics out of the workshop, uh, followed by several discussions and you know later discussion. Uh, the first thing is uh, you know understanding what is this climate change because we know floods, it thinks over every time 